Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for general information and educational purposes only. Students should test cybersecurity techniques in the secured lab setup. I do not take any responsibility, and I am not liable for any damage or problem caused while implementing the tools and technique. Hi, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So in this video, we are going to learn how you create your word list using a tool called Crunch. This is a really handy skill to have under your belt if you want to, to be a penetration tester because you're going to face a lot of scenarios where a word list attack can become very handy. So using the tool is very simple. All you have to do is just put the name of the tool and then you specify the minimum number of characters for the passwords to be generated. Then we're going to specify the maximum numbers of characters for the password and then you specify the characters that you want to generate passwords from for example you can put all lowercase characters all uppercase you can put numbers digits or you can just specify a smaller number to make a word list smaller you can also use option t which is optional to give a pattern so for example let's say that you are looking at the person while they were typing their password and you saw that the password would start with a so you can tell Crunch that the password will start with A and then give me all possible combinations of passwords which start with A. And after that, we use the minus O option to specify the file name uh, where the passwords are going to be stored. So we have a small little example here uh, that will generate a list of passwords that start from six characters to eight characters and contain these characters right here. So it's going to create combinations of one, two, three, ABC and a dollar sign. And it's going to store it in a file called word list. And these passwords are going to start with A and end with a B. And it will generate password based on all possible combinations between A and B. So all of the generated password will always start with A and end with B. So let's have uh, an example of the tool. Now the tool has a lot of options other than what we've seen so far. So if you just type in man, crunch. You will see all the options that you can set and you will see a de detailed description about all of these options so it's good uh, you can go ahead and spend some time getting familiar with the tool now i'm gonna show you the example and based on the example you will be able to run all of these commands but if you want to run or create some advanced word list then i highly recommend that you go over this one of the cool options that i want to highlight is the uh, minus p option The minus p option tells crunch to generate passwords that don't have repeating characters for example when you specify all lowercase characters you specify a b c d it will start by generating passwords made uh, made of a a a a and then a b b b b and all of that so when you do this crunch will ignore these types of passwords and it will only create passwords that don't have any repeating characters and that will reduce the size of the word list from the number of characters to the power of the length to the number of characters factorial if you sc if you scroll down you will see uh, more examples of commands and the types of wor word list that will be created so again you can have a look at this and, and get yourself familiar with them Once you're done uh, looking at the man, you can just press Q and you'll be out of it. And we're going to run our command here. So we're going to use crunch. And I want to generate passwords of a minimum of six characters. And a maximum of eight characters. And I want them to contain combinations of A, B, C. And let's say the digits 1, 2. This one, 1, 2. Now in here, you can keep listing things. You can list characters. You can list uppercase characters or even symbols if you wanted to. Uh, once you're done with listing the characters, we're going to specify the file to save it to.
and we're gonna save it in a file called test.txt so the command is very simple it's crunch minimum length of password the maximum length of password followed by the characters that we want to use to generate passwords from and then o to the file that the passwords are going to be stored in i'm going to hit enter and as you can see now it's telling us that it generated 484,375 passwords approximately and they are all stored in a file called test.txt now the size of the file is 4 megabytes and now I can open this file by doing cut test the txt and as you can see now we can see all the passwords that have been generated and as you can see it contains all possible combinations of abc12 I also want to show you an example of uh, using that minus T option. So I'm gonna set this. Uh, I'm gonna set this to only six. I'm gonna set this to only six to six, so it's only six characters, and we're gonna use the T option. which is the pattern option and I'm gonna tell it that I want the password to always start with A and then I want you to fill in all possible combinations of characters between the A and the B so I want the passwords that start with A and end with the B and in the middle at the sign you can fill all possible combinations of ABC12 gonna hit enter oops we got to put the six all right gonna hit that gonna hit enter and as you can see the number of passwords is much less it is only 625 passwords because i have narrowed down the possibilities of passwords again if i do cut test the txt You will see that I have all the passwords right here. So this is it. The tool is really useful, can be used in many scenarios. I highly recommend that you spend some time with it and also have a look at some of existing word lists out there on the internet. Once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Remember to subscribe, share, like, and turn on notifications so you can be kept updated on the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching. On to the next one. Peace.